An airline admits it lost a customer's precious cargo after one of its workers let a dog out of its crate and it escaped. We reached out to Air Canada to get answers about its pet policy and we got a response we never expected. New tonight, Maria Medina is live in the newsroom with the woman's search for her canine. And guys, Yota Kulik is visiting Sacramento for a dog show, but her mind is back in San Francisco, where the search for the greyhound that never made it to its final destination is now in its fifth day. I don't know whether he was stunned, whether he was scared, whether he was hit. Before Yota Kulik's friend passed away from cancer, she promised to find her pet's good homes, including Larry, a two-year-old Italian greyhound. These dogs are our family. These dogs are the center of our universe. And Yota did find Larry a home in Canada. This week, on her way to a dog show in Sacramento from their home in Ohio, Yota booked a flight from San Francisco on Air Canada. She zip-tied Larry's crate several times before leaving him with the airlines. And I very clearly instructed them never, ever to open the door and let the dog out of that crate unless he's in a completely enclosed room. But Yota says the flight was canceled and rescheduled for later that night. Then came another call from Air Canada. They called me at about 6.30 and told me one of their employees had decided to walk the dog. Larry had run away, and Air Canada workers searching for the white and brown dog couldn't find him. We're so sorry that an animal was lost because someone was simply stupid. Air Canada sent CBS 13 a statement saying they have a team looking for Larry, but we wanted answers about what went wrong. What procedures with Larry may not have been followed, and what are they doing to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else's pet? Instead of answers, we got this email from an Air Canada spokesperson that appears to be intended for a co-worker. Quote, I think I would just ignore. It is local news doing a story on a lost dog. Their entire government is shut down and about to default. And this is how the U.S. media spends its time. End quote. Oh, my God. I guess I wouldn't expect any different from a company that would allow something like this to happen. Now, late tonight, we got another response from another Air Canada spokesperson apologizing for the delay in response. The spokesperson says they don't have answers to my questions, but they are investigating Larry's escape. Yota is afraid she'll never see Larry again. Wonder what they'll say when they figure out that they sent the wrong email to us first. We'll see if we hear from them. Okay, Maria, thank you.